posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby. Hey Aquarius, how y'all doing? It's Purple Haze. And I'm back to shine a positive light on your dark days. Okay. I hope you guys had a pretty good week, day, month, year, all of that good stuff. Um, don't forget to check out the description box because it has my Instagram handle. Um, you can shop and stuff on my website down below for any jewelry, lip gloss, um, bundles, wigs. All that good stuff. If you can't make it to the juice supply, you know where to go. And let's go ahead and get started with Capricorn. Okay, because I, I know y'all ready. Okay, you ready? Because I'm ready. Okay. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. And thank you, ancestors, for all that you do and all that you will do. For every lesson is a blessing. Please continue to shine your positive light on me as well as the Aquarius is listening to this reading. Okay? And you can't forget the sage spray. There is also sage spray in the description box down below as well. I'm running out a little bit, but it's okay. Um, now let's go ahead and get to it. Capricorn, let's see what messages come out first. We're going to do general reading and we're going to do a love reading as well. So stick around for the you and your person, all signs too. Okay, why wow, these cards feel extra heavy today? Heavy, heavy. Page of Wands, Aquarius. Okay, you have the Page of Wands. Super passionate and excited about something new or someone new. Um, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven, right? Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles here in reverse. Um, hold up. And the Seven of what? The Seven of Wands here in reverse as well. So, it seems to me, Aquarius. <laughs> I had to be sure. I had to double check my little booklet. But I, I got it. So, <laughs> um, yes, Aquarius. So, it seems with the page of wands here, like I said, you're very excited about something new. Um, very passionate about it, okay? But with the seven of pentacles here, you got to remember to not make the same mistakes as before. Just because you have a new start doesn't mean that you just won't make the same mistakes. Try not to react to certain things the, the way that you used to, okay? And then the Seven of Wands here in reverse, someone is coming off very childish or um, having some childish ways. You don't like it? Mm -mm. Um, Let's see what else is going on with Aquarius. Like, ooh. You have a lot that fell out. You have the two of wands, okay, making a decision. You're having a hard time making a decision about what? Queen of Pentacles here in reverse. Um, you don't want to make the wrong decision that that'll possibly like something small, a very small mistake. You don't want that one mistake to kind of overpower what's to be in store for you. You're afraid of making a mistake now that'll possibly will affect you in the future. Okay. Um, the Knight of Pentacles here okay but you're still determined you're still ready you're still ready for whatever um you you might come off nervous a lot when it comes to stuff that you care about and you're passionate about it makes you nervous and that's why you're so afraid of it going wrong but be easy aquarius you have the king of swords in reverse okay and you have the knight of wands here my bad the knight of wands here in reverse as well let me pull one more to make it even um hold up hold on they don't love you like yeah okay and then you have the moon card here as well so still have a lot of fears um it's a lot of immaturity somebody in your circle aquarius comes off very immature or they don't they don't they're not making the decisions the way that they should they're not thinking first um and like I said, one little small mistake or, or one little disagreement kind of messes it up for everything else. But it has a lot to do with fear. I don't think it's done on purpose. If this is you, Aquarius, who might come off childish to someone, um, it has a lot to do with fear. If you're dealing with someone who is childish, okay, um, don't take it too personally. This, this person is just, they're just confused. Um, and they get a lot of anxiety when it comes to 
I don't know. I feel like they have a lot of anxiety when it comes to the future. They don't really like talking about the future or they don't, they don't like talking about what could be. They kind of like to live in the moment, whoever this person is. So, and they might come off as immature because they're not used to this. They might be pushing you away. You might be pushing them away. Um, they're just not used to this particular thing or they're, they're not used to whether it's um, a person that you're dealing with they're not used to what you guys have. If this is a new job or um, something involving your passion, Aquarius, and you're working with someone, um, they're just nervous of it going wrong. They might come off childish and they might try to play it off about certain things, but it's because they're just nervous. So I wonder what this little, this little thing is that they're nervous about. Um, let's see any advice that needs to be given to Aquarius. Any advice for Aquarius in regards to um, early March? Knees fell out. Hold up. Oh, you have the woman hold woman holding a coin. Okay, um, Aquarius. So, my advice to you and you. I'm sorry. You have the woman holding the coin. You have the man holding the heart, and you have the yin yang. Okay. So, my my advice to you. Aquarius is to everything is going to fall into place. You don't have to do too much. What I mean by that is as long as you remain who you are and stay confident within yourself and, and remember your self-worth, um, that's all that really matters. Everything else will fall into place. Um, the more you value yourself, the more you will attract valuable people, okay? Um, there's also a chance that the person that you're dealing with, you guys kind of... Um, what do you call that? You guys kind of balance each other out. Like, this person, like, the, the male energy has this person's back. This person here is really, they probably have their shit together uh, financially or um, they have a lot of self-worth, okay? And then with the yin-yang twin, like, I, I mean, with the, <laughs> did I really say yin-yang twins? Wow. <laughs> with the yin-yang card here, um... You guys kind of balance each other out. What you're missing, they have, and what they have, what they're missing, you have. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. That was my advice. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to um, the love part of the situation. Okay. Love. Any messages in regards to love? Let's focus on that. Let's see what they're talking about. Okay. How's the love life going for Aquarius, y'all? We have the Queen of Cups here in reverse. Um. Someone doesn't, they feel like you're doing too much or they, or you feel like they're doing too much. Over caring, um, taking things way too seriously. Um, very sens someone is very sensitive, okay? Um, then you have the tower card here, okay? Um, might be some drama between you two or it might be some upcoming drama. If it already happened, that's great. Like, at least you got up out the way. But there was some conflict between you two. And it had a lot to do with someone doing too much or being overbearing, okay? Um, and then you have the Ace of Wands, okay? Someone wants a fresh new start. Um, there, there may be someone new in the picture. So maybe the, maybe the thing was someone found out about somebody new, okay? Some of you probably dealing with someone. You guys were pretty close or, you know, doing y'all thing. Something happened caused you guys to split or there was a lot of drama between you two and then there's someone new or there is something something new there's some type of new energy that came along so i don't know if you guys were into it about someone new or there was someone new coming along and that caused a lot of conflict conflict okay um any advice for um aquarius and what's to be expected in regards to their love I guess two cards, so you and your person, okay? Um, Aquarius, you have the flirt card here, okay? You're very flirtatious. Um, they're telling you to be more flirtatious, be more open. Um, test the waters, I guess. Um, and if you're already dealing with someone, Aquarius, just don't. Just because you guys aren't together don't mean you can't continue to flirt with them, okay? Like, keep it spicy, keep it going. Um, and then the, this could be... No. Yeah, this could be the one. I'm right. This could be the one in reverse, okay? So, maybe you're playing the field or... I said advice. 
you don't know exactly if this person is the one for you, right? You don't know that. Um, so I would just say keep an open mind. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Just keep an open mind. That's all I'm saying. Um, every time, for those of you who are single, every time you come across someone new, don't automatically don't automatically hear wedding bells. Don't automatically feel like, oh my God, this could be the one. Because that's how you set yourself up for disappointment. Okay? You don't want to do that. All right. So you and your person all signs. Aquarius. So we're going to start off with Aquarius and Aquarius. And work our way down, okay? That's what we gonna do. That's what we gonna do. So many things I got to tell you. But I will train. Two cards. Three cards. So, Aquarius, love yourself first in reverse. Someone is coming off insecure, okay? One of you, one of these Aquarius is coming off very insecure. Um... Release your ex, okay? That's probably why. Maybe this Aquarius is feeling insecure because of their Aquarius that they're dealing with hasn't released their ex, okay? And then free yourself in reverse, okay? So it seems as if someone is trying to have their cake and eat it too, okay? Between you two. Aquarius and Pisces, how do you two feel about one another? Aquarius and Pisces, two cards for Aquarius and Pisces. Um, Chemistry card in reverse for Aquarius. You don't see a lot of chemistry with your Pisces. Pisces attraction, okay? Pisces might be more attracted to you than you are to them. Or maybe you guys are both attracted to each other, but the chemistry is off. That's because you're attracted to them. That means there's chemistry. Aquarius and um, Aries, how do you two feel about one another? Aquarius and Aries. Aquarius has the attraction card, okay? You're super attracted to your Aries. Aries has a give your relationship a chance in reverse. Although you are attracted to your um, Aries, they're not sure if they want to give you a chance yet. Maybe you already had one, and they don't want to give you a second one. And vice versa. Cap, I mean, whoa. Aquarius and Taurus. It's about Capricorn. Aquarius, it is safe for you to love, okay? So, Aquarius, um... Now you feel like it's safe for you to open up your heart to this person, okay? And then... Worth waiting for in reverse. You want to give your heart to this particular person, to this particular Taurus, right? To your Taurus. Um, but Taurus, on the other hand, feels like it's not worth waiting for. It's now or never. Okay. Maybe they're giving you an ultimatum. Healing fa family issues in reverse. You still have you guys still have a lot to resolve as far as family, okay? Family issues. Um, Aquarius and Gemini. How do you two feel about one another? Two cards for Aquarius and Gemini. Two cards for Aquarius. Okay, that was a lot of cards. Two cards for Aquarius. Okay. The flirt card here in reverse. Okay, so there's not a lot of flirting between you two. Why, though? Let's see what that came out first. And then this was third. That's overall. So the card on the floor is Gemini. Let me get that. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so um, Gemini. Release your ex, okay? So, <laughs> um, there's not a lot of flirting between you two. Or maybe you kind of gave Gemini the silent treatment because of an ex that came up. And you feel like they need to release them. Maybe someone is still speaking to their ex. Okay? Keep an open mind in reverse. Okay? So, keep an open mind in reverse. It seems that... Hmm. Someone is not keeping an open mind, clearly. Um, they're thinking very negatively. They're having doubts on whether this person... Um, they feel like not only if this person doesn't appear to be their soulmate, they feel like they're not. So, it could be the ex, or since there's two people involved, it could be the ex, or it could be the person that you're dealing with. But someone um, is, is not who they appear to be, okay? Someone needs to release their ex, and this, and neither the ex or that person is not who they appear to be. But the flirting is on hold. You guys don't flirt as much, okay? I'm rambling. Um, Aquarius and Cancer, okay? Okay. So Aquarius has retreat, okay? So you want to spend some alone time with your Cancer. Oh, Cancer has deception in reverse, okay? So Cancer wasn't exactly honest about something at first. But it seems as if they're going to they're going to be honest with you. 
They're going to come to you with the truth. Maybe there's a reason why you guys haven't been spending that much time together. And they've been lying about it, but they're going to tell you the truth. But you want some alone time with them. So maybe you want that alone time to get some answers, okay? Aquarius and um, Leo. How do you two feel about one another? Aquarius and Leo. What's going on, Aquarius? Okay. True love. Okay, you think that um, Leo might possibly be your true love? One card. Now, they, they be giving me half a deck. Leo, how does Leo feel about Aquarius? Express yourself in reverse, okay? So, you see Leo as your first... I mean, as your first... Are they your first love? Or true love? You see them as your true love. Um, but Leo is not really expressing themselves. You don't know how they feel about you. Okay? How does it... Okay. Um, Aquarius and Virgo. How do you two feel about one another? Two cards for Aquarius and Virgo. I gotta sneeze again, y'all. Okay. Who I just say? Here we go again. Was it Virgo? Yeah, Virgo. Cap I mean, Aquarius and Virgo. Okay. Aquarius, soulmate. You feel like Virgo could be your soulmate, okay? That's, Virgo has potential. Come on, bruh. My bad. Healing family issues with Virgo, okay? In reverse. Virgo is still working on some family issues they need to resolve, but you feel like they're your soulmate, so you want to be patient with them, okay? I almost put a third card. Uh, excuse me. Aquarius and Libra, how do you two feel about one another? Two cards for Aquarius and Libra. Come, wait a minute. Try it again. Two cards for Aquari <clears throat> Aquarius and Libra. Love yourself first, Aquarius. Okay, so you're loving yourself more. A lot of self-love, self-respect. Okay, um, Libra. And then overall, Libra forgiving and learning. Ooh. Libra forgiving and learning. Okay, so Libra is um, willing to forgive you for something. Something that happened, but maybe you were very insecure at first, but you're starting to love yourself more than anything, and they see that, and that's called that's why they're forgiving you. Um, overall, it is safe for you to love, so it's, it's safe for you guys to love each other again, okay? Um, Aquarius and Scorpio, how do you two feel about one another? Aquarius and Scorpio, two cards, okay? This filled out, oh my god, the rest of them is too much. So, Aquarius has honeymoon in reverse. Not a lot of intimacy between you and your Scorpio. Hmm, that's interesting. Make the effort in reverse. And Scorpio is not really making the effort. So, you guys are kind of dry in the bedroom and nobody's... Well, um, Scorpio is not putting that much effort into it, okay? So, I'm not sure what that is about. Um, Aquarius and Sagittarius. <clears throat> How do you two feel about one another? Aquarius, stay optimistic. What? Stay optimistic about your love your love life, right? About your love life in reverse, okay? So you don't see Sagittarius as your type. Let me make sure. Oh yeah. You're thinking very negatively when it comes to Sagittarius. So don't be so negative, okay? Um you don't want to you don't want to manifest that. Like don't don't expect the negativity with Sagittarius. And then there's two cards. So we got Sagittarius and overall, okay? So Sagittarius has let your friends help you in reverse, okay? So Sagittarius, keep your friends out of your business. Everybody don't need to know everything. Um, just keep it private. The only, But unless it's an emergency or somebody, you know, was going through something bad. Other than that, um, Sagittarius, try not to involve your friends too much in it, okay? Overall, romantic feelings in reverse, okay? Overall, um, the feelings between you two, the connection between you two is not there. The romantic feelings is not where it's at, okay? Um, and it has a lot to do with people in y'all business. And it has a lot to do with Aquarius being, like, very negative, okay? So, all right. Um, Aquarius and Capricorn, the last one, y'all. Aquarius has finances and career, okay? So, Aquarius is working on their career right now and is probably interfering with what's going on with Capricorn, which is weird because Capricorn is about their business too. But maybe they feel like it's getting in the middle. Maybe you lost, 
Maybe Aquarius lost their job, or maybe Capricorn lost their job, okay? Only, I'm trying to find out. Capricorn has deception, okay? So Capricorn has been lying about something all along. Um, I guess lying and saying that things are okay between you two when they're not, and it has a lot to do with money or career, okay? That is, that's it, right? Yeah. That's what I have for you guys, Aquarius. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular reading. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm so close to a thousand, okay? So let's keep it going. Um, what else? What else? Don't forget to check out the description box down below, and I will see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye.